Okay, so lastly in this combinator, we'll be adding right click, create, M class stereo imager. But not to widen the stereo image, that's what they'd be expecting. No, this is a lot more M Night Shyamalan. Milan, Milan. The twist is the imager is being used as a filter to remove the bass. Now, before you begin crying violently, leaving hate mail in the comments section, and losing faith in all that is good and pure, don't worry. The loss of the bass is only temporary to make it more awesome when we bring it back in. You've got to tease your listener, make them work for the drop. Now, show them the Combinator's programmer. Show them, I don't know who they are, but show them. Then select the imager, and here for button one, we want to choose solo mode, which just relates to this solo mode section here, the convenient filter we're using it for. And what this means is we can start modifying this parameter from within the combinator instead of having a separate track for the stereo imager. I mean, it is just as easy to just right click there and hit edit automation, but I have pretty severe OCD and want to get to sleep tonight, so I'll keep things tidy. So we're going to just right click on this button we've created, and as you can see, it keeps it in the same beat track instead of having the new stereo imager track. So let's draw in an envelope just to show you how it works. Just there, it's the uh, W key to go to the pencil tool nice and conveniently. And there we go. Solo mode all the way up to the top. And if we take a listen, there, we'll use this as a build up to the drop. You gotta make sure as well though, that when it leaves the envelope, it drops back in with that big bassy kick. So it's defaulted to the normal mode. You can see that here, I just hit edit mode. And if we zoom in a little bit, you can see the default mode is defined here with this little static value slider. So just to clarify that, the envelope here is making it so that if you watch, put it here just before the loop loops around, the solo band mode as it comes round, will switch to solo high band. There we go. And then when it comes back round, when we want it to drop, it'll just drop back into normal again. Just like that. Okay, so that's the beat sorted. Now for this loop, we're going to create a combinator, name it loop, create ourselves Dr. Octo Rex loop player, and let's load up a sample. So I've chosen this loop here, this top 06 from the Electro House Shocks sample pack, again from primeloops.com. Link in the description below if you want to grab that. Now let's take a listen to it. There we go. Now this top loop will just drive things along in the top end a bit, fill it out with a nice bit of splashiness, and layer up with the heavily compressed and squashed sounding Kong instance to make it a bit more natural, particularly on the snare. So let's copy the loop to track, and, uh, well, we can listen to it on loop. And I guess I could call this my minimal house seven day song. Now it's just a case of finding a loop you like really and arranging it to the beat, which since house is kind of predictable percussively, you won't probably have too much trouble doing. What I will do is make an instance of the Rex loop without any hats. So if we go in here and just find all these hats, that's a nice snare, that's a hat. So let's get rid of these. Hats, that's a snare, hat, hat, snare, hat, hat, snare. And then we'll just use that to build up to the main beat with the hats and all, so take a listen. And I'll show you the same thing with the power to it. There you go. Wherever possible, try and use variations of existing instrumentation to build up in Prog House, since too many synths spoil the broth. This is one of those genres where you have to make a few sounds go a long way. So there we have it. A Prog House beat more crisp and punchy than Mike Tyson flavoured walkers. Tune in tomorrow for day two, where we'll be making a ridiculously huge Prog House bass to accompany our beat, since it's looking pretty lonely over there, without any melody to keep it company and ask what it's been up to recently, even if it doesn't really want to know. It's just a good friend and appreciates that sometimes it's just nice to ask and listen. Yeah. See you tomorrow.